game suit, French letter, and my girl back. Alright, what's up everyone? My name is the Kid, and welcome back to day 5 of the 21 Pilots album reaction marathon, where today we are going to be reacting to their 5th album, aka one of the best alternative albums of the 2010s, Trench. Now, I have reacted to this album before, I do just want to specify that. I reacted to it almost 2 years ago, and out of all the 21 Pilots albums, so far this has been the album that I have streamed the most, Trench. Now, Trench is one of those albums I've actually returned to very often, so this this isn't going to really be a first time reaction, it's just going to be me fanboying over this album because this is one of my favorite albums I've reacted to on the channel. But yeah, other than that, before I start the video, first I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. And also recently mentioned my analytics and knows only 9.2% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new to the channel, like we see, please subscribe and it's for the help of the channel a lot. We're actually on the road 3,000 subscribers. But yeah, another thing is, if you haven't watched the other marathon videos yet, go watch that. Why are you watching this before you go watch those? There's going to be spoilers on those albums, so go watch watch that like what, what are you doing go watch those but yeah other than that enough talk to the this video i'm excited for this all right so the first track is track number one jumpsuit oh there you go i would have never pictured them doing like a hard rock song well the hard rock song this i would have never pictured them doing like a semi hard rock song I, I don't know if this would be considered a hard rock song but it's definitely the hardest rock song that they've made God, it just sounds so chaotic. God, the vocals. It feels like his vocals went up like 10 levels from Blurry Face. Because with Blurry Face, they were decent vocals. But with this, like, it just feels like his vocals matured so much in this album. God, it's so good. Dude, these vocals are so nice. It even feels like his vocals, like his high notes, even matured. Right? Compared to his other high notes he's done in the past, like, even here, it feels like they've matured a lot. Like, he's matured a lot with his vocals. So, like, imagine regional at best, right? And self-titled, right? Remastered with these kind of vocals. Oh my god, be they'd be amazing. I, I do hope they kind of remaster those albums at some point. They do need, like, a little bit of a remastering. Oh, here comes the best part. Oh, dude, it's so good. Yeah, nah, that that's just too good. That was track number one, jumpsuit. I'm I, that's a diamond. That's a diamond track, honestly. Like it's such like a good intro to the album. Possibly probably the best intro to their albums because it feels like it's trying to build up this world and kind of like get you hooked onto the story that he's trying to convey in this album, or he, or at least he's gonna convey in this album. And I think this is like the perfect song to do it because at moments it's hectic, at moments it's beautiful, it's calming, it's haunting. Like it's just a mixture of everything that it needs. There's literally nothing to the song. I would say I would want to add to this song and want to take away because it's just the perfect intro to an album. But yeah, on to the next track, which is track number two, Levitate, which I guess is kind of like a part two to Jumpsuit in a sense. Or from what I get, it's kind of like the second part of Jumpsuit. I don't remember this song much. No, never mind, I do. <laughs> God, the production is so good. I like like the deep vocals in the background too. Like every time he finishes a sentence, like that last two words, he oh, there's like this really dark, deep voice that comes out in the background, and it really it sounds awesome. <laughs> God, that flow is so good. God, it's just too good. This song, that this uh, this song just sounds so dope. Uh, I like that bit too where he says, welcome to Trench. I like that bit because it kind of like, this and Jumpsuit are kind of like the introduction songs to the, the album. And it just like, welcome to Trench. This this is how it's going to be, this album. And you can't do anything about it. I, I don't know. It's something like that. It's so cool. All right. But yeah, that was track number two, Levitate. That is a massive W. Like, there, there's that's almost, actually, you know what? That's a diamond. <laughs> that's another diamond track, dude. I feel like this is going to be one of those albums. There's probably going to be a lot of diamond tracks on here. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. There's going to be a lot of diamond tracks on this album i'm just gonna let you know now um instrumentally production wise like it was so good like the production on this song is absolutely phenomenal i think the flow is amazing i think uh lyrically it's amazing I, everything about this song is amazing and it doesn't deserve anything less than a than a diamond all right on to the next track which is one of my personal favorite tracks on this album uh morph track number three. Oh, you got that little grooviness in it too 
Ooh. I'm off with someone else. God, it's just so good, dude. It's so good. It's so groovy. Such a clean song, dude. It is such a clean song. It is such a well-produced song. This is like... Oh my god, I might be fanboying too, maybe because it's like, it's, it's just so well produced and I don't know why I like this album so much as I do, but it's just, there's something about this album that just hits, bro. It just hits like that, that just sweet spot in my soul. Someone else, I'm just a ghost. Oh, it's, it's just too groovy, man. It's just too groovy. Oh, you got that little piano too in the background? God, it's just so good. I don't know how bad my dancing is because I can't see and I'm going to keep it like that. Even while I'm editing, I'm going to put these glasses on while I edit this part because then I can't tell how bad I'm dancing and then I won't feel cringy about myself. So all works out. All right. But yeah, that was track number three, Morph Nerd Diamond. It's just a amazing track. I don't care what your opinions are on this track. It's a diamond. Don't care. You can hate me all you want. This is a diamond track and it deserves nothing less. All right, so the next track is track number four, My Blood, which I actually really like, but I don't think I like it as much as uh, Morph. I think my dad likes this song. I think I've showed him this song before. When everyone you thought you knew and go with you. Even this song is really well produced. God, this instrumental. Oh, it's so groovy. That's the thing. This album is so groovy, too. Like, the past two songs, this song and more, are such vibey songs. Like, they don't get appreciated enough, these songs. I don't know why. This album doesn't get enough appreciation. I'm sorry, it doesn't. When it comes a day, people posting up at the end of your driveway. They calling for your head and they calling for your name. They don't know I was prone with you. To hear your song, no, I go with you. Just keep it outside. Keep it outside. Yeah. God, the production is so good. What the fuck? It's so good. I don't know. I don't know why this album, this, this freaking song is so good. I think this is the second song where he references lines, right? Because he does it in Migraine, and then he does it in this song. Actually, I like that verse a lot where he says, I'll jump right in and pull my pin. I like that verse because that kind of like means it's not like he's going to jump in and help you. He's going to jump in, and if you go out, he's going to go out with you. He loves them that much that he's willing to to die with them. God, I got that little synth in the background. God, it's so good, dude. It's so vibey. All right, so that was track number four, My Blood Doesn't Earn Diamond. I wasn't going to give that a diamond. I wasn't considering giving that a diamond, but after re-listening to it, that's, that's a diamond track. That's, that's a really good track. Even if it is a, like, a weaker track, it's still like, dude, that's really good, dude. It's such a vibey track. It's one of those tracks that like I, you can literally just listen to the vibe to. You don't even need to lyrically like. It, there's nothing there that needs to be like cryptic or anything there. It's literally just there to be vibey. And it's produced so freaking well that it still fits in with the album too. So next track's track number five, Chlorine. Sipping on straight chlorine with the line slide over me. Moment is medical. God, the vocals are beautiful on this track. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I keep singing. I I, I don't stop singing because these songs are just so good. They're like those types of songs that like I'm telling you, I listen to this album a lot, so like I know a lot of the lyrics, so like I kind of can't help singing along with them. Wow. It's a really good song. Again, really well produced. You in my coat pocket where I kept my rebel band. Felt I was invisible, you wrapped around my head, now different. I despise you sometimes, I love to hate the fight. But you in my life and like sip it on. God, the vocals. Uh, so good. Alright, so that was track number five, Chlorine. I think we all know I'm gonna give this. I could be biased, I don't care. Diamond. <laughs> I could be really biased right now. This might be a little biased. I don't know. Actually, I might change Levitate to W. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change Levitate to a W. Um, but yeah, it's just vocally, it's insane. I think vocally, it's kind of a good uh, in-between, between vibiness, but also like really slowness and beautifulness. Instrumentally, it's really vibey throughout the whole song. And then there's like this little break in between where it gives you a very like calm melody of just a nice simple piano. But it also still feels very 
produced at the same time like very filtered out it, it, it doesn't feel overproduced it's just like perfectly produced so yeah that's why it's the diamond is a great song all right so next track is track number six smithereens I've always been chill. hey i actually prefer this song a lot more than tear my heart because this song sounds more of like it first off it sounds more of like a love song than another one another one kind of sounds like a mixer of a love song and edm but like a very radio friendly version this song is more of like him genuinely telling her that he loves her to the point where he's willing to get his ass beat for her stand up to the biggest guy knowing damn well he's only 150 pounds and can get messed up very easily um he, he's still willing to get beaten up to smithereens um and i actually really like that it's, it's cute it's different even though it's a, just a you know a generic love song it, it, he, he does his own thing with it to make it seem very um unique and it stands out oh the vocals dude this is really i really like this song it's not a diamond but it's so it's a solid song Someone step and taught you that describe just what I'm feeling. All right, so that was track number six, Smithereens. Yeah, it's a solid W. Um, I don't think it's a diamond track, but it's a, it's a cute little track, and I think that it, it does its job. I think it, it does it its job good, and it does it uniquely too. All right, so the next track is track number seven, the song that always makes me cry. Uh, Neon Gravestones. I honestly don't know why it makes me cry, but it does, and I don't want to. I don't want to listen to it for that one reason. It's such a haunting song too. On top of it. See, I can't do it with this song. I just can't. It just it just makes me really sad. It's pretty it's talking about suicide, obviously. It's talking about people who commit suicide for uh clout and stuff like that and use use that type of stuff as like a form of a weapon. And it just I don't know, it just it hits dude. No, you don't have to. It's such a powerful song. God, I'll mourn for a kid, but I won't cry for a king. That is, that's a hard-hitting one. God, come on. I hope, I, I think, I hope he doesn't lose himself. I really don't, because with this past album, the Skilled and Icy album, it's such like a happy tone album. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that he's gotten better, right? I hope he got better. It's too sad, bro. It's too sad of a song. Come on. Come on, you gotta do that too. Like, come on. Wait, that's so, such a sweet line. Like, you don't gotta, don't do that to me, man. Don't do that. Those are diamonds. I need a minute. This song's really sad. All right, so the next track is track number eight, The Hype. This is a very groovy. I like this song a lot. Cooking behind your head. All right. God, this is vibey. But I can do my way around. This is a really good song. I like this song a lot. This is a really good song. It's nothing too insane though. It's not like one of those songs like, oh, it's an instant dive and not. Nah, it's, it's a W, but it's not like it's a solid song. We'll be on my side. I don't believe that. Dude, this this is really good. Alright, so that was the hype. Yeah, it's all song. I mean, it's nothing too insane. I think it definitely feels like the most radio-friendly song on here, but yeah, it's a solid song. Like, I got no complaints about that. Alright, so next track is track number nine, Nico and the Niners. Easter's up. I care as when I play my rebel clothes. Easter's up. So they peaked here. I'm sorry. 21 pilots. They peaked peaked with this album they peaked <laughs> all right so it was track number nine ironic called nico and the niners i actually never realized that it's track number nine it's called niners or nico and the niners that's funny um diamond that's a really good song that's a really vibey song um it didn't look like i really vibed to that song too much um i did i i just i was typing out a review for a uh, lincoln park album because i i just remembered i didn't do any of them um on aoty so i had to i was just doing that while i you know i listened to this banger of a song so yeah definitely a diamond um i think instrumentally it's produced so freaking well i think the lore behind it, it's insane um i like how it ties it really does tie into this whole album it helps tie in the story together with jumpsuit and levitate and i think there's other other ones like i think bandito does too 
Um, so yeah, I, I liked it. I thought it was a great track. All right, so next track is track number 10, which is my personal favorite song off the album, Cut My Lip. Ooh. Guys, so vibey, dude. Da, da, da. This is what I want. Ba, da, 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 da. Oh, it's so good. Views. Ba, da, 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 da. God, this song is so good. Oh my god. God, it's so good, dude. I think this is like the most disliked song on the album, oddly enough, but it's like my favorite. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm weird, but I like the song a lot. Dude. Oh, it's so clean. This album is so criminally underrated and it's not even it's not even a question this this album is criminally underrated and it's not even a joke on how badly underrated this album is like it deserves way more hype and way more love than than it than it's gotten um but yeah that was track number 10 cut my lip another diamond just obviously a diamond it's a good track it's like one of the best tracks on the album um instrumentally it was so vibey vocally it was, vocally it was beautifully mixed um yeah just generally just an amazing track i think the concept of this album is so insane all right so the next track is track number 11 bandito okay i do feel like this song right here i think this is probably like one of my least favorite because even though it is a beautiful song i think it just i feel like it's just elongated a little too much i feel like they kind of drag it on a little much with the same with the chorus and it does get a little bit repetitive but still a really solid track oh the vocals what does solo felina mean i just, i still actually don't know what that means because no one really answered what it meant when i first reacted to this album ah this is so good even like the drumming's really good. All right, yeah, that was track number 11, Bandito. That was a W. I really enjoyed that song. Uh, I think, I don't think it's a, it's a diamond. It's not a diamond, but it's still a really good song. And I really like it. I think it's, uh, it's a great track. I do think it's a little bit, um, I'm actually gonna move these up because these are kind of hurting my ears now. But I do think that it's, oh my God, my ears are so red. Oh my Lord. Okay, so fun fact, you don't want to have your glasses on this over your head and really tight headphones because apparently it makes your ears very red oh my god that is bad all right i'm gonna take this off my hair's all messed up which is why i wanted to wear a hat but i mean if it's just gonna be like that like it's gonna give me like red ears i'm not gonna wear it god um but yeah that was a good song solid song i, I liked it i thought the vocal it was great instrumental it was great everything about it was great all right so next tracks track number 12 pechino boom ba -dum, ba -dum, boom boom ba boom Barom bom bom barom barom bom. Oh my god, the chorus is so good. Ah, this beat's so good. Oh, and then just like that quick, it's instant transition. God, it's so good. God, so damn good. Oh, and a scream. He got no. This song had no need to go this hard, man. It just don't need it. Like, it don't need to go this hard. It don't need it. But it does. All right, but yeah, that was track number 12, Pechita. Oh, I'm so torn on this song. I want to give it a diamond, but I've given this song, this album way too many diamonds. So I'm going to give it a W. Just because I feel like I've given this album too many diamonds. But yeah, that was a really good song. I think production-wise, it was amazing. Lyrically, it was really awesome. This song just need, this song just went hard for no reason. That's all I'm going to say. That's, that's it. That's all. That's all I got to say about this song. All right, so the next track is track number 13. The second to last track. Holy crap, this album went by fast. Track number 13, Legend. I wish I knew you. This is a bop. Dude, I kind of relate to this song too because I recently um, lost my grandfather. So like listening to this song, it, it makes me think of him. Um, and then another ironic part is he says, you're my middle name. Um, my, my my first grandfather who passed away, his name, Sal, was actually my middle name. And now my second grandfather sadly passed away recently. And um, this, this song does actually like kind of make me sad. I wish you knew you. You're a legend in my own mind. God, this song's really sad, man. God, why is this song? I don't know. This song really does make me think about him. And it sucks because with like the whole COVID thing that it made me it, like I wasn't able to see him as much because of COVID. And he was high risk for COVID in my family. So like we couldn't really see each other anymore um, for like a while. And like... <laughs> Fuck. 
I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know why that this song makes me sad, because like, I don't know, it just makes me miss my grandfather, I'm, I'm sorry, one second. Come on, there's one more song, let's just get her over with, God. But yeah, that was, um, that was a W, that was a really good song, um, I'm not gonna give it a diamond though, because like, I, I just get really sad after listening to that song, and I, I don't, I don't like songs that get me really sad, um, especially when it reminds me of like, my grandparents or something um oh, okay sorry I, I, I sorry i'm ruining the mood right now um but yeah we're finally here on the final track um track number 14 leave the city god even this song is really sad but it is more of a beautiful song than anything this song is really interesting honestly actually i really enjoy this song this song is very like it's a very pretty song we do. We know it's almost over. I don't want it to be over, but it's almost over. It truly is almost over. God, and like the synth in the background just adds so much. Got that like harmony in the background. Oh, dude. I don't know the lyrics to the song because I haven't listened too much, but this song's just so pretty. This is such a good ending to an album. God, it's so pretty, this song. It's like so vocally beautiful. God, that harmony. The vocal mixing on the song is so good. Damn. It's so pretty. That was a diamond. That was a diamond. That's just I, they've always been so good with like ending off their albums. Like that that's such a diamond track. Like that is insane on how good that album is. That was such a good way to end off this album. Like honestly, like instrumentally, it was so well done. Lyrically, it was well done. Vocally, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Like everything about this song was beautiful and it, it, it doesn't deserve anything less than a W, like no joke. Like it's just so good. Yeah, we did it. We reacted to the whole 21 Pilots Trench album for day five. Wow, this is this has went by so fast, this, this like marathon. We're already about to be done the marathon. Like we only got one more album left and then we're done it. Like that's insane to think about. But yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed this album so much. As you guys could tell by the, as you guys could tell by like the whole fanboying I've been doing, like this whole album, this is by far my favorite album they've released. Now, honestly, for me, this is where they peaked. All right, this is, I think we can all agree this is where they peaked. They peaked with this album and everyone can agree that they peaked with this specific album because the world building in this album is so amazing. The fact that he made this whole story in like 14 songs, he created this whole world and created this whole story and this whole lore. And it's just such an interesting, concept right for an album to make this whole story and hate this whole world and stuff like that like it's just so interesting so for the people who are new to the channel and don't know how i do these ratings is i'm going to be rate, rating it off three criteria before i do the all-around score and how i'm going to be rating it is i'm going to be rating it off its vocals the lyrics and the instrumentals the three main things first off we got the vocals Right, vocals are 10 out of 10. We all know this. This is a 10 out of 10 vocals, right? They're, they're beautiful, gorgeous, everything. It's like they took all the good vocals from every single album and just added into this. Lyrically, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10. Like, just, you know, not much said there. 10 out of 10. Like, lyrically, this whole story that it's, like, just portraying in this album is so well done. Like, it really, it really grabs your attention throughout the whole album. It really makes you want to listen to it like the first song alone jumpsuit just like it's like such an ear catcher it catches your attention right away and just like hooks you in throughout the whole album it just makes you not want to non-stop listen to it and then you got the production the instrumentals also a 10 out of 10 i think these this by far has been their most well-produced album um i think production wise it's so well mixed it had everything that made 21 pilots instrumentals good it had that but better i'm sorry i might be messing up my sentences a lot with this but i i don't even care like this album's just too good but obviously for the all-around score i think y'all know where this is going it's a 10 out of 10 this whole album is a 10 out of 10 album and i don't think they'll ever peak like this again unless their next album is literally like this they set themselves up i think for failure with this album though i will say that because they put themselves at such a high standard now 
for this album that obviously scaled and icy did not live up to this obviously there's no way it would ever live up to this but now their next album has to live up to this and if it doesn't that's it their career is over right it has to live up to this album or else their career is just finished um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for joining me on day five of the 21 Pods Marathon. Um, let me know what else to react to. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on post notification bell so if I ever turn upload. Uh, go check out my AU12 album. They were really ranks and reviews and albums, EPs, and songs to react to. Also, go check out my Instagram. There's so many other social media links will be in the description. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, wherever you are. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Team it. Team it.